The title of my project is the Electrolyte Challenge. When exercising, we sweat, and through our sweat, we lose electrolytes. Electrolytes regulate our heartbeat and allow our muscles to move. They include sodium, potassium, magnesium, calcium, and some salts. Without enough electrolytes, our body will suffer from weakness, disorder in our bones, and seizures. To replenish the loss of electrolytes, sports drinks were invented. The first sports drink invented was Gatorade. However, some people do not think sports drinks are all that great. Three-time New York Marathon winner Alberto Salazar said sports drinks are used in long races where you dip deeply into your energy reserves, but for any race that takes less than an hour, you'll never get depleted enough for them to have much effect. Of course, Gatorade is not the only sports drink, but just the first. Powerade and Body Armor are also two other popular brands. There are also mixes like Mio Fit. Water, milk, and orange juice also contain beneficial nutrients like electrolytes. Milk is known for having a high amount of calcium, which is one of the electrolytes. Water is more thought of for hydration and not much for replacing lost electrolytes, while orange juice is not often thought of at all when working out. For my project, I am going to test and measure the amounts of electrolytes in various brand name sports drinks, water, milk, and orange juice. I will test to see which of the above mentioned drinks is the best at replacing lost electrolytes. I will also be comparing the water to the sports drinks along with the milk and orange juice. My question was, do sports drinks have more electrolytes than water, milk, or orange juice? And my second question was, which of these liquids have the most and which has the least? My hypothesis is that the sports drinks will all have more electrolytes than the other liquids because they are sold for athletes and primarily for replacing electrolytes. My second hypothesis was that the Powerade will have most out of all of them because it is a newer product and has more resources and that milk will have the least amount of electrolytes since it is more focused on rebuilding proteins. To begin this experiment, I went to the grocery store and bought a Powerade, Gatorade, and Body Armor. I also purchased, purchased brand name orange juice. I also have milk and water already at the house. I have all the tools like the multimeter, the plastic straw, the copper wire, and the bowls to carry out the experiment, except the 9 volt battery and the alligator clips. I went out and bought these from the store also. To begin the experiment, I cut some, six straws into 5 inch pieces and attached 2 inch pieces and attach them to 5 inch copper wires. Then I rinse out 6 bowls of warm soapy water and dry up paper towels. This removes all ions that were already in the bowl. I did the same to the measuring cup before and between each measurement. I then measured out 1 cup of each drink and poured it into the bowl. The straw was then placed into the bowl, allowing the wire to dangle out of the bowl. Next, I took the circuit and connected them to the two copper wires. I set the multimeter to 200 milliamps to get my first read. I then plugged it into millivolts to get the second read. I then took those two readings and plugged them into the formula G equals IV where G is the symbol for Siemens, which is why electrolytes are measured in. The I was the amps and the B was the volts, because Siemens equals amps divided by volts. I took the readings in volts and amps, and then I plugged them into the formula and got my final results. For the primary results, the water read 3.7 microamps and 1 microvolt. The orange juice read 3.98 microamps and 1 microvolt. The milk was a negative 4.05 amps and 1 microvolt. The Powerade was 38.5 microamps and 8.5 microvolts. The Gatorade was 24.2 microamps and 9 microvolts. And finally, Body Armor was 40.1 microamps and 8.5 microvolts. After plugging them into the formula, I got my final results. The water read 3.7 Siemens. The orange juice read 3.98 Siemens. The milk came out with a negative amount of Siemens. In actuality, the milk would have a zero reading instead of a negative reading because it could not physically take the electrolytes out of your body. The sports drinks then were tested next. The Powerade equaled 4.53 Siemens, the Gatorade 2.69 Siemens, and finally the Body Armor at 4.72 Siemens. From the data I gathered, my first hypothesis that the sports drinks would have more electrolytes than the non-sports drinks was correct. All three sports drinks had more electrolytes than all three non-sports drinks. My second hypothesis, however, was only partially correct. I was correct in saying that power. I was. I was wrong in saying that Powerade had the most electrolytes. 
it was second most to body armor. Body armor is made from coconut oil, which already has more electrolytes than the standard water. The second hypothesis was correct that milk had the least amount of electrolytes, as milk had zero electrolytes.